Hey guys, what's happening? Cichlid Bros here, back with another video. Today, our video is 10 tips and ways to minimize aggression in an Ambuna tank. And we'll start off with tip number one, tank size. My Mbuna tank is 55 gallons. I think I am on the low side of how many gallons you should have for a successful Mbuna tank. Uh, you need to give these guys a lot of room and a lot of territory to claim. And really they might be better off in a more like a 75 or 125 gallon. I would not recommend anything below 55 gallons. Tip number two. Um, it might sound like it kind of contradicts uh, tip number one, but you want to overstock your tank. So you might think, why would I want a huge tank if I'm just going to overstock it anyway? Well, they still need a lot of, of footprint, a lot of territory to claim on the ground. Um, but overstocking helps spread out that aggression and keeps a single fish from getting picked on to death. Um, the theory is one fish will chase another fish until he sees a fish, a different fish, and then they'll, they'll chase him instead. So um, that has definitely worked for me. I, I can see the theory uh, being put into practice. Which brings me to uh, my next tip, which is tip number three, your stock list. Definitely keep an eye out for what types of Mbuna, of Mbuna you're going to buy. Um, do your research. That's one mistake I made when I was a novice fish keeper. I definitely took my lumps and learned my lessons, but one of them was uh, I bought a bumblebee cichlid. You can kind of see him here in the middle of the tank with the yellow with the black stripes. Um, Beautiful fish, great fish, and he's actually done a great job for me. Uh, but the more I read up, the more I found out that once he gets to be an adult, he might be a handful. So I've kept an eye on him. I've already arranged for my local fish store to take him in if he becomes a problem. But so far, so good. Uh, fingers crossed. But uh, bumblebees... Uh, and DeMace and I are really the two that have the worst reputation with aggression. And you gotta pay attention to these subspecies. You know, how many uh, DeMace and I you have in a tank? How many bumblebee you have in a tank? Because they're gonna be more attracted to uh, their own kind. For example, I do have three Johanni in here when it was just two. The weaker one was getting picked on too often. So I got another one to help minimize that. If you have a Demason eye, they might need a group of 12 to help spread out that aggression because Demason and I will kill each other first. Uh, which brings me to my tip number four, uh, your male and female stocking. If you're getting a species only tank like a Demason eye, like 12 Demason eye and six electric yellows, something like that, you need to pay attention to how many males to females you have. It's recommended to have a one to four male to female ratio. Otherwise, the male is just terrorizing that female trying to mate. Um, and also, even if they are not the same species, even if it's not one species of Mbuna uh, in your tank, the males are going to be more aggressive. I went for more males because they look better. Most of the types of Mbuna uh, are colored up more when they're males. Uh, and I had a lot of fish die because I went that, that route. So I pivoted, kind of went to a different route of getting fish that kind of color up whether they're male or female. So uh, that's worked for me. Tip number five, uh, you got to have a lot of hiding spaces. As you can see here, I have a rock scape with a ton of caves, tons of tunnels, tons of hiding places. Um, it makes them feel more comfortable and it helps them get away from a fish that's trying to chase after them, nip at their fins, things like that. Um, 
Tip number six is with that rockscape, every once in a while you need to rearrange. You know, every time you do a deep clean once a month, once every two months, something like that, change up your uh, arrangement and let them kind of discover their own new territories uh, to where one fish doesn't get too dominant over one area of your tank. Tip number seven is to keep your fish well fed. Uh, multiple small feedings a day is better than one large feeding. Um, that way they're not getting anxious waiting for the next feeding uh, and won't be as defensive and territorial about food when it does come. Tip number eight is if you have the chance, uh, have your fish grow up together. All my fish are juveniles still, although they are growing. Uh, if I were to buy an adult, you know, six inch fish, uh, that might really throw off the hierarchy in here. Um, but these fish, if they all kind of grow up and make it to adulthood together, you know, they kind of get used to each other and theoretically, uh, the aggression is not as bad. Tip number nine. If you do run into that fish that is just a rogue, he's just tormenting all your fish, you know, you did your research, you found, you know, you picked the types of abuna that are the, you know, less aggressive, like a yellowtail ACI, like I have right here, which is typically one of the least aggressive abuna. They can be aggressive individually. And if you run into one of those, you know, you got to have a plan in place. Kind of like I have a plan in place for my bumblebee uh, for my local fish store to take in. So uh, you can't get too attached because when you're keeping a buna, they're going to die and you might find a rogue once in a while. So uh, just watch out for that. Have a plan in place. And lastly, tip number 10 is um, lighting of your tank. Um uh, in my opinion, uh, fish stress leads to aggression. And more lighting means more stress. And what I mean by more lighting is more hours of the day. If you are having your fish tank light on for 10, 12 hours a day, then I think you might be overstressing your fish. It might work for you, but in my case, I see way more activity, way more chasing the more the light is on. Uh, I see more docile fish if I keep my light on for no more than seven, eight hours a day at most. Sometimes only for a few hours in a day. So um, minimize that to minimize stress. And that's a good rule in general. Just minimize stress any way you can. Uh, and that should help minimize aggression. Uh, and Buddha can be a brutal species, but they are beautiful. They are active. They're fun. They have a lot of personality. If you just maintain the aggression level, I think you'll have a lot of fun. So that's all I have for today. Uh, thanks for watching. As always, like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.